I recently stumbled upon a nifty GPS receiver that could be the perfect addition to your next ham radio project. I'd been on the hunt for an affordable, no-nonsense GPS receiver for my all-star link repeater project. It needed to provide me with a one pulse per second time signal and NEMA data, and I found exactly what I was looking for in the QLG2 by QRP Labs. Now, when I say kit, I might be overselling it a bit because there are just two parts that need to be soldered onto the pre-assembled board. The QLG2 module comes predominantly as a surface mount pre-assembled unit. It's equipped with a highly sensitive active antenna, complete with 2 meters of coax, an SMA connector, and a built-in USB to serial converter. The only two components you'll need to solder are the female SMA connector for the GPS antenna and a USB-B type connector for serial output. An absolute piece of cake really. It has three onboard LEDs for clear status indication, a 3.3 volt regulator and power supply filtering, and a 5 volt logic level conversion. Plus it was mainly designed to work with all the other QRP lab kits. What's even more impressive is its support for multiple GNSS satellite constellations including the US GPS system, the European Galileo system, the Russian GLONASS system and the Chinese Bidou system. This results in faster and more accurate position fixes. However, in my particular application, I only required the GPS system from the US using the NEMA data, so I simply disabled the others by sending it some commands via serial using a tool like PuTTY, and you can use this to reconfigure it for your specific satellite system needs. The potential of this little board extends way beyond my All-Star Link project. You might use it for various other purposes, such as one example I can think of, timing where you could keep your PC's time accurate without relying on the internet, which can be crucial for software like WSJTX. And the best part, the entire kit comes at a very budget-friendly price of just $23, US and it's available through qrplabs.com. Now, this GPS receiver doesn't include a frequency output such as 10 MHz, which is a standard frequency reference. I did a video on another GPS receiver, the BG7 TBL unit. You can check that out on the screen right now. That does include that, plus all of the other functions that we talked about earlier on in this video. 